Hi guys, this is another video by Dark Link Does Math. The content in this video is geared towards 6th grade math standards. These videos are public so that my students may access this information easily, as well as anyone else looking for math help. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do not, I hope you can find what you are looking for elsewhere. There's a lot of information out there. Be aware that I'm not perfect, so there may be the occasional mistake. I apologize in advance if this should happen. So today, we're going over lesson 3.3, which focuses on adding and subtracting decimals. So this is going to be pretty quick. So we're going to start with adding multi-digit decimals. We've got four simple steps to follow. First step, stack your numbers vertically. So in other words, on top of each other, while lining up the decimal. So stack your numbers vertically or on top of each other while lining up your decimal. The second step, if, so this step might happen, it might not, if you have empty spaces fill them with zeros. So if you have empty spaces, fill them with zero. So whenever you stack your numbers, if you notice there's like an empty spot and the numbers don't line up, fill it with a zero. Step three, begin adding from right to left So that way. So begin adding right to left, carrying as needed. And last step, bring the decimal straight down. into your answer. So let's do an example problem. It says add 6.528 and 8.965. So our first step is to stack them on top of each other. So we're going to write 6.528 plus 8.965, so I'm going to make sure I line up the decimal first. And that means the number in front is 8. It's going to go under the 6, and then the 9 will go under the 5, 6 under the 2, and the 5 under the 8. So while I'm stacking them, I'm making sure that that decimal lines up. Next step, begin adding from the right and work your way left, carrying as needed. So I'm going to start on the right side. 8 plus 5 is 13. So I'm only going to write one digit there, 3, and I'm going to carry my 1 on that 13 and put it in the next column. Now I'll start in this column. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. No need to carry. Next, 9 plus 5 is 14. So we'll write our 4. We need to carry the 1 into the next column. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 6 is 15. I don't have any other numbers, so I don't need to carry. I'm simply going to write 15. Fourth step, bring the decimal straight down into your answer. So our answer is going to be 15.493. Now, that second step was if you have empty spaces, fill them with zeros. We did not have any empty spaces, so I did not have to use that step. So what would a problem look like if you had that? Let's say I had... 6.52 plus 8.965. What would that look like? Well, I would write 6.52. I would line up my decimal so the 8 would go under the 6, 9 under the 5, and the 6 under the 2. Well, the 5 has to go right there. Notice I have an empty spot.
So empty spots would have to be filled with zeros. So basically, you're going to put a zero there. And it wouldn't be empty anymore. So you would do 0 plus 5, 2 plus 6, 9 plus 5, 6 plus 8, while carrying and then bringing your decimal straight down. OK. Subtraction with multi-digit numbers. The steps are essentially the same. Step 1 is stack your numbers. Vertically. So in other words, on top of each other while lining up the decimal. Our second step is the same. If you have empty spaces, Fill them with zeros. Third step, begin subtracting from right to left. borrowing as needed and then step four bring the decimal straight down into your answer So stack your numbers, line up the decimal. If you have empty spaces, fill them with zeros. Subtract right to left, so work your way that way. Borrow as needed, and then bring your decimal straight down into your answer. So let's do a quick example problem. So we're going to subtract 2.282 from 5.152. So let's write 5.152 first. We're going to subtract. 2.282. So again, I focused, I put that decimal first, so that meant the 2 had to go under the 5, 2 under the 1, 8 under the 5, and the last 2 under that last 2. And then I'm going to fill in empty, empty spaces with zeros. I don't see any. They line up nicely. So now I'm going to start subtracting and borrowing as needed from right to left. So 2 minus 2, I get 0. Next, 5 minus 8. I can take away 8 from 5 and get an answer, but it's going to be negative. We are not going to do that, so I'm going to need to borrow. So how do I do that? I go over to the next column. I'm going to borrow from that 1, so it becomes 0. Where did the 1 go that I took or borrowed? It goes next to that 5, so now that's 15. 15, take away 8, 7. Next... We're going to take 0 minus 2. Well, if I took away 2 from 0, I'm going to get a negative number. We can't do that. So we're going to borrow from the next column over 5. That becomes a 4. Where does the 1 go that I took away from it? Next to the 0. So now that's 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. Last 4 take away 2 is 2. Now we're going to bring our decimal straight down into our answer between the 2 and the 8. So our answer is 2.870. Now, what would this problem look like if I had empty spaces? It could potentially look something like this. Um, let's say I said take 5.152 and you need to subtract 2.28. So first, I would stack them on top of each other, 5.152 minus, I'm going to put my decimal first, so the first two under the 5, 
then the 2 under the 1, the 8 under the 5, and you'll notice I have an empty spot right there. So I would fill that in with a 0. So 2 minus 0, 0, and then I would start having to borrow. I know that was pretty quick. I hope these couple examples helped you enough to get started on subtracting or adding multi-digit decimals. If it didn't, there is a lot of information out there. I hope you find what you need. You all have a great day.